Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Red Knots. We're looking at the undefended convoy attack. It'll be nice and easy for this time around. We get to use a battle cruiser, a cruiser, or light cruisers. We get plenty of money to do it. And we have to sink eight transports in 20 minutes. For our bonuses, we get a choice of small guns, big guns, and turret. So better accuracy, and aiming speed and reload. Or we get shells, explosives, and torpedo improvements. Or extra damage, range, shell penetration, and HE shell fire chance. Or more money. I'm thinking this time around, do the shells and torpedo. I'm going to skip the battle cruiser this time. We're going to go for the cheapest ship we can get. We're just going to use a lot of them. Not really gonna make them go that speed. Uh, I want 21 knots minimum. We're looking at ooh, turbines, semi oil, ooh, forest. That's awesome. Go for the Krupp. In fact, these are un. Armed transports, so we don't need any armor. And there's no change in our boss without armor. Except for iron plate, because of hull weight and form. We do want upgraded armor. I'll go with light shell, increased ammo. Oh, nice. We get the full gamut. The Lidite is looking very beneficial. Lower penetration, but maximum damage. Finder. Go for the coincidence. Don't care about the radio. It does increase the range of the flagship bonus. But that shouldn't be necessary for this time around. Get our forward tower. Have to have a rear tower. Yes. have a funnel push becomes a type of gun to use I'm looking at the weight versus the damage versus the rate of fire. Keep things as light as possible. We'll do four inch. 
pick up four inch over there. Like why those the four inch don't fit. Okay then. And three inch casemates. Stack them. Right there. 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 Pretty limited scope for each one, but uh, that's a lot of guns. And we'll get, ooh, deck torpedoes. Not that we've left any room for them. Stick with the underwater ones. Just go with the two. Now are we on engine efficiency? 100% with the single funnel. That would be 14 cruisers. Go for and fit two funnel. We use the better one. Gives us a hundred percent. and puts us at 10 cruisers, which is ridiculous. More than there are uh, transports. Actually, let's boost this a little bit. Fifty-six hundred. Put our four inch there. There. And there. I have more deck space to work with. Better angles of fire. Throw on a second funnel. We'll get this down to eight cruisers. Right there. Twenty seven knots. And one more is. Yeah, let's do the 27 knots at 5,400 tons. And we'll go with this. I'm dallying for what is a very basic mission. Go 
question becomes, why do uneven groups? Let's put that up. In fact, look at Uma. Congratulations, Hatch. Naka will detach into that one. We have the OE and the tone. Four groups of two. Put them in tight formations. And we will focus on E. Which I think is squadron based. Excellent. We'll have to do it four times. And accelerate time. our first ship. That's just silly. The amount of gunfire. Admiring the view for a moment. All right, so come in this way, this way, far wide, close in. I am not seeing. Any ridiculous accuracy bonuses or malices? Just looking at how things are. I don't think there's any sense in it slow. It's a Pretty quick and straightforward mission. I previously had done it with a single battle cruiser. Good grief. That is a lot of hits. The spam is strong. And we lost the Mogami. Swing back around with this one. And our second group will swing back the other way. Is this Naka? Uh, that's group three. Uh, crank that. Getting a little bit of lag in the interface. A lot of pop ups.
Everything is sinking. Two transports left. Bonk. One transport left. Structure quickly going down. There's some flooding. Torpedo about to hit, and that's enough. They are 22 in. And that was undefended. Convoy attack. Now for the armed convoy, you get the same setup, except they have two battleships, heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and only six transports. And you get 60 minutes. We get more funds, shells and torpedoes, guns and fire control still. And now we also get survivability and maneuverability. With some hull strengthening, armor quality. Ooh, hull form bonus. I think we're going to go with guns and fire control on this one. I think we're gonna go with the battle cruiser. Kind of guns does the armor cruiser get elevens. Battle cruiser gets sixteens, up to. We'll do an advanced tower up forward. I think we want the best. Yep. Squeeze that in right there. Actually, use a small funnel to start. We may go beyond that. And do the big barbette. We're superimposed. Not forward. And not aft, unless we swap out the rear tower. Uh, we may be choosing let's see, Mark 116, Mark 115, Mark 314. Sudden improvement. We have Mark 410s. You see, the 14 has almost 19 inches of penetration. And that is what the 16 has. I'm going to go with the 14s. It's the uh, most effective. Ah, oh, it doesn't quite fit on that forward deck. Might go crazy then and uh, do mixed armaments. Let's see, can we put a. Ah. Not quite fitting. want our barbette back here, at least for now, depending on what ends up fitting. Yeah, even with a single barrel, it's too big. And too big for the side turrets as well. Bet you wouldn't fit the 12s. And do the 12 fit on top? Nope. Oh, well, that's not center lines. Yeah, that's not even close. Uh, 
I don't think we can fit others. Switch to the tens. Doesn't look like they'll fit on top of the barbettes. I don't think they will fit with nines either. Oh, they do. Well, that's nifty. And we can only have up to four main guns with the tech we have available on this one. Can't squeeze in any more main armament. Ah, and there are no casemates available except for two inch on the battle cruiser. No, just no places for any of the others. They're not big enough. We're gonna want torpedo launchers and secondary guns. Drop down to sixes. Can we fit any of those? Hey, there we go. This is a mixed armament monster. Some may be cringing out there. Can we fit any fives where we couldn't fit sixes? He thinks not. Fours then. And that's a big exclusion zone for that 12 inch. I'm not going to put any 2 inch beyond our ace mates. And all the way up there. That looks to be our armament. We can scoot this back a little. And actually, not if we want to keep these 6 inch. Because of that aft offset, I want to scoot that back as much as possible. I want to scoot this forward if we can, which doesn't look like we can. We're just going to have to deal with that aft offset. Not the four. All right, we can fit threes, and we can fit fours. We'll have that pair of fours. That goes for all of our armament. Oh, we could have stretched it. And we would have more room in the rear. That's fine. Not going to worry about it. If we can go with a standard turbines to save weight, MI oil saves a little weight. Forced with help. Prop armor. He will. If I can keep it cheap enough, we can actually get this to have two battle cruisers. I'm going to go with heavy ammo. We want shell penetration. White powder is a good choice. But we also want the extra damage. But not extra weight. 
I think we'll stick go stay away from Cordite. Alstite looks decent. So does gun cotton. Go with gun cotton. Relatively cheap. Now for this, it's going to change a lot. That costs 63%, 63%. A little bit more actually for the electrical. The most for electrical hydro. I just keep them normal. Automatics I definitely want. Go for 18 inch torpedoes. Fast. Close. Advanced. Wow, that is a very thin belt. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to keep this down. Oh, so I'm going to keep this quick and easy. Those are 12 inch main guns. Squeeze them on and grab our barbet. Where did that bar back go? Is it still adding weight? I hope not. Ah, that won't let me place it closer. Get our 14 inch. And another 14 inch. And we have our 312s. Our 9. Do we have any additional casemates? That's a no. And we fit in eight inch. That looks like a negatory. Seven inch? We can. Right there. And yeah, we already know that we're not going to be able to fit fours or threes. So let's uh, get the nicest we can get for our single battle cruiser and see how she does. That's way too much weight. Cost really isn't all that high. Bring her down in speed. Same for 25 knots. Crimp on the bulkheads. And I want to. Uh, we don't need the auxiliary. Oh, that doesn't cost much in weight. We need the shafts. That barely costs anything in weight either. Drop the bar bet action. Put twos. Drop the citadel slightly. 
I want the auto loader. Regular hydraulic turrets would work. Don't need the radio anymore. Thing is pathetically armored. But it is a total gunship. Well, let's let's sacrifice on those things. See how much of a belt we can get. I don't think we're going to be able to get the turret up there. Oh, we did. There we go, 7.2 inch belt. Now it's starting to be respectable. 80% armor strength. Got plenty of money left over. Oh yeah, how's our funnel efficiency? 70%, we need roughly 20. You go for a single medium funnel or too small we're cramped on weight so let's go with a single medium they have the wide workout all right one medium over by a bit. All right, let's do single wide. Go to 24 and a half. There we go. Launch. I'm actually skeptical. I don't remember what I actually ran this mission with. There's the initial salvo. Go our twelves. That looks to be the more dangerous. We have transports. Might be the two battleships over there, and this is the heavy cruiser. There's one hit. Nine inch transports. Nope, oh, there's an eight inch head. Oh, a hit with the main armament. Fourteen inch head. Straight into the engine room. Then a 7 inch hit. There's the main armament. No hit. And we have the light cruiser over here. Peg them with a 7 inch. back to the heavy cruiser or no that's a light cruiser bounced a couple rounds the report doesn't seem to be working this time nothing is showing
couple messes. There we go. Coming up on the 14 inch. again. Target ship size matter quite a bit. Ten percent bonus due to weather. Our accuracy should be good. Oh detonation with the 14 inch taking a couple 11 inch hits partial penetrations damage also a nine inch penetration 170 both their main turrets are disabled actually gonna switch targets because of that like she has got her five inch secondaries he is combat incapable virtually We got a 9 inch hit on the light cruiser and she's flooding. Oh, good. 12 and a 9. And another 12. Full penetration for almost 400 damage. 9 inch penetration. 14 inch penetration. Two more 12s. There's another seven. What have we received lately? One 11 inch. Oh, a pair of more 14 inch. Air nines. Seven inch. There's a fourteen inch. A lot of flotation damage, and both her main turrets are out. What do we have? Looks like the same sort of battleship. received no hits recently. Take a closer look at these. There's a 7 inch full penetration. Yeah, these are old style battleships. Kind of a neat setup for their guns though. Yeah. 
looks like a pre dreadnought. Couple 14 inch partial pens. There, they got a 7 inch. There's a 12 inch partial 14 inch penetration in a mount. that bounce. There's a 12 inch partial. Come on guys, you're shooting short and not too far forward. 12 in. No, oh, uh, didn't show up. Okay, actually. All the damage pop up. a 14 inch and a 9 inch partial okay what range is this about five kilometers almost six curve it in a little bit Where are our transports? Couple back here, one forward, and two we can't see. There we go, there's a 12 partial. up slightly. 14 inch partial. He's really on fire though. Oh, it went over. We received 11 inch partial. In the time that we've unloaded several hits, two seven partials. There's a 14 inch partial. A nine and a 12. There we go, there's a full penetration on the 14. Got some flooding in the after steering. And fire takes her out. Oh, we can fire the 14 inch at that angle. How fast is this one? 15 knots. Tangle in fully. Head in. Got a 14 inch penetration. Couple partials. 14 and 7 inch. Okay, there's our five transports. Oh, we took a hit from a two inch on the funnel 
Meanwhile, we've got a 12 inch penetration. There's another 12 inch pen. I need to be thinking about those transports here soon. There's a 9 inch. Looks like our secondaries or nope. Ace mates are independently engaging that transport over there. There's a 12 inch partial. Not that, that does that much. A couple more partials. Let's get broadside. Now that we're at closer range, down below three, we'll get those 14 inch firing. There we go. Now it's going very poorly for her. Wow. We can knock out the forward turret, I'll just ignore her. There goes the uh, casemates. Oh, we'll focus on this transport. Shouldn't take long. Flooding rapidly. We'll flip a Yui. Bunch of antiquated ships against a quote unquote modern battle cruiser. For this scenario at least. Alright, I need to focus on these transports. quickly. Oh, she needs a little bit more. I should have been more aggressive this entire time. Finish off the heavy cruiser real quick. There we go. Come on, finisher. cruiser does have torpedoes. I'd rather not take a torpedo. Finish her off as well and then switch to the transport which shouldn't take more than five minutes max.
There we go. Double twelves. Rapid flooding and it's spreading to the next compartment forward and aft. Oh, no ammo. I actually ran out of ammo for the 12s and the 9. Need to use the side 12s. Well, hundred damage from an overpen. Goes down to structural damage. Moments from sinking due to flooding. That doesn't count. I don't know what does. That's one aped. Wow, that is a disappointment. Well, we'll do it again. Go with standard, increased. And take down the turret armor slightly. And I have to make this one quick. I'm out of time. Oh, let's do times five. That's plenty. Dive in, we'll take more damage. That's fine. So will they. This will go a lot faster. Oh, yeah, decimating that battleship. Transports, one of the battleships. Oh, that is brutal. amazing 14 inch shell lengthwise through that ship aboard transport sections. Uh, now she's done. Well, 
Well, fire as she bears. There goes that one. Ooh. That light cruiser's not doing well. Flooding out. There it goes. And there goes the last transport. He told you I'd keep that quick. Mission complete. Next the one we're looking at is Destroyer Attack. Sign a destroyer flotilla that can eliminate an enemy convoy and its escorts of a heavy cruiser. Enemy has a strong cruiser for protection that only torpedoes can harm it. You can use two types of destroyers, big destroyer leaders or standard destroyers of smaller displacement with 13 million. A 60 minute time limit. But that'll be for next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for staying till the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.